Hi, it's Jonathan. Welcome to ABCD. We're going to do lateral canthotomy today. This poor man has an orbital compartment syndrome. He's lost vision in his left eye, he's precious 40, he's got an afferent pupil defect and he's got proptosis. We use a special purpose-built kit just to save time. It's got everything you need. This is our kit, drawing up needle, needle to put the local anaesthetic in. We're using 2% lidocaine, um, 5 mil syringe, arteries, um, small scissors to cut with, two to forceps, saline to clean with, pad and some ointment antibiotic ointment to finish. Consider sedating your patient before you do this. So I'm going to infiltrate the lateral, I'm going to infiltrate the area around the lateral canthus. Aiming away from the globe at all times. Next we clamp the lateral canthus. This devascularizes it and makes the tissue thinner so it's easier to cut. And we hold that for 30 seconds and release. Get your small scissors, again going away from the globe, and we're going to make it cut all the way to the edge of the orbit. Get your tooth retractors in um, and evert the lower section of the lateral canthus. Now what you want to do for it is feel the inferior crust of the lateral canthal ligament. I'm strumming. It feels like a tight band there. So I'm just strumming that, those lateral canthal ligaments. And I'm going to cut. And that feels like I've cut. And I've got to release. And in a, in a real person, you'll actually often see the eye just bulge forward a little bit and give. Remeasure the pressure and you'd be surprised how quickly it comes down. Um, but you should remeasure the pressure within 15, at 15 minutes the pressure should be down um, below the danger level. This might bleed, so um, we'll pop some chlorazine ointment on and pad the eye. Lateral canthotomy. Use a pre-made kit and infiltrate with 2% lidocaine. Clamp the lateral canthus tissue and cut laterally towards the orbit. Invert the lower part of the wound so you can feel for the ligament and then cut the ligament. And that's a lateral canthotomy.